Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 14 laptop. This one is a specific model, it's a 3421 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can boost up the performance humongously by just replacing a mechanical drive with an SSD solid state drive. This, they do come in an iCore 3, sometimes they do come in iCore 5 processors, but the bottleneck in here, it's not the RAM or anything, it's the mechanical hard drive. I'll leave the link for a new good mechanical hard drive, but if you want to go with the cheap brands, these are the Kingston uh, brands, which are really low grade, but they're still faster than mechanical drive. So, remember once you upgrade the, replace the mechanical drive with an SSD drive, you will not have any operating system in the laptop. Your files, everything will be in the old mechanical drive. So I suggest you guys to do a backup of your files and external hard drive before you're doing this service. Once you have the new SSD in here, you do have to install the new Windows in. I made a video how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive, and I made a video how to install it on a Dell laptop proper way. And you can install the Windows really easy, no brainer. It takes five to 10 minutes, and you have your brand new Windows, brand new SSD drive, and you're ready to go. With Windows 10, you don't have any problem with the drivers. It, everything automatically it gets installed. I'll leave those links in my video description. So let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power it off. You want to flip the laptop upside down. And you want to remove the battery. It's an optional. You don't need to. But if you want, go ahead by pulling these triggers away. And pull out the back end of the lap, battery up. And release the battery. You can do this by leaving the battery on. It's absolutely safe. I'm going to do it with the battery on. You need a screwdriver set. I'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. You're going to be using a Phillips number zero. And down here, we're going to remove the service cover that is being held down by one screw. So go ahead and remove this tiny screw. Put it to one side. Next is to grab this cover and slide it towards the front end of the laptop. Sometimes it's really hard. It doesn't come really easy. Punch in there, I'll lift the front end a little bit up and then I'll slide out. So lift up the front end a little bit tiny, help it out and then slide it back and it should come out. And down here the hard drive is right over here. The hard drive is being down, held down by a carry this metal bracket and there's a tiny screw right at the back. We're going to remove this tiny screw right down there. It's really tiny. Once we remove it, we're going to grab this handle right here and we're going to pull it towards the DVD drive and we should see at this opening right there. Once you see this opening, go ahead and lift it up from here, bring it up and slide it front side. So there's your mechanical hard drive. This is a one terabyte hard drive. So we do need this carry to keep the new hard drive in place. This is a tech hard drive. You can put a low profile if you want. All the SSDs have the same profile. This is a low profile. So grab your new SSD. Make sure the orientation for the power and SATA connector are facing the same way. You don't want to put it the other way around. Even if you try, the bracket will not go through. So you want to put it side to side. You want to remove these two screws on the caddy and we're going to remove the bracket and place it on an SSD drive. So remove these two screws. Grab the bracket on top here. Has a little adhesive, rip it off. And bring it over on top of this one and this is a low profile so you have to hold it with your hand you see it's kind of short and put the screw for it and the other screw right beside it and there we have it now you, all you need to do is first put up the back side inside there okay once you have the back in there now you want to put the front end down in here, but make sure you have to lift it up a little bit so the connector goes to the jack, no, not under the jack, because it is a low one. So bring it up, align it, and then push it. Make sure it goes all the way inside the jack nicely. And put the tiny screw on the back so it will prevent it from sliding out. There we go. Now the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover, put it in an offset position, and then slide it towards the inside there. There we go. And there we have it. And put the tiny screw in the middle. 
And that's how you upgrade your mechanical drive to solid state drive for your laptop Inspiron 3421. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you did, please click the like and subscribe. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.